wipe it all off and start again. Okay, to give a little tutorial, I scrub it on pretty much. <laughs> I'm Jennifer Marie Keller. Welcome to my diary of a painter. I am super excited because I'm going to be starting my sirens painting. I've been working on a lot of the preliminary work for it. In my last video for it, I was working out the drawing of the three main sirens. There was going to be a ton of sirens, but now it's just going to be these three main sirens for the whole painting. I've really distilled this idea that I've had into this very simplified bird. This is like the essence of the idea. It's now just going to be the whole painting. I was planning on doing a color study for it, but I'm just going to jump into it. That might be too low. <laughs> That's way too high. This is good. So my ceiling, you can see it's like right up where the the mass of the easel are, so I can't raise the easel as high as I want to, so I just find different ways to get my painting up at eye level. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to paint it on, which I'm excited and nervous for it. I'm excited because I like to paint big, and all of my other pieces that I've done past my maternity leave has been really small because I wanted something that's very digestible to do in short amounts of time when I get to paint while taking care of a baby. I love to paint big. So this is feeling good, more like home, but then also nervous because I hope I'm not biting off more than I can chew. So I know I don't want the figures to be centered. I want them to be farther down on the canvas. Like I, I think I want the main, well, this is hard to do this backwards. <laughs> so the, the main siren right here, I want his, his hands to be pretty down low on the canvas. And then there's going to be an ocean horizon line that I want to be probably like a fourth up of the painting. Normally when I do my paintings, I have everything really pretty exactly thought out. I don't know exactly where I want them on the canvas. Like I have a loose idea in my sketchbook. So I'm just going to take charcoal directly on the canvas and get the placement of the figures, the ocean rock, the horizon line, all that. And fun fact about this canvas. So this canvas originally, if you can see there's a figure right here, it's upside down. But I was originally gonna do this painting, my I'm like Icarus, but I know how to swim painting on that smaller canvas. But when I started painting the figure on there, I decided I wanted to make the figure life size instead. So you can now still see that ghost image of the Icarus woman there. So she's obviously gonna get <laughs> painted over on this. And so I flipped the canvas upside down so it wouldn't be distracting. So she's more easy to ignore and it's not gonna mess up how I'm composing the sirens painting on it. So my charcoal box, I'm going to use very soft charcoal. I like the yellow ones from Neatrum. I wonder if I still have these big, yeah, these big pieces are great too. And they're vine charcoal, so they're super easy to move around and erase directly on the canvas. So I'll use these charcoals to figure out the composition on there. And then a chamois. And the chamois is just great for being able to wipe the charcoal off if I want to move stuff around. I'm just going to keep things really loose. That's why I'm doing charcoal and not paint. So everything's really easy to move and wipe around. loosely sketched in. I was moving stuff around a lot, mostly the main figure. I find it really helpful to have like these like really simple shadow shapes and light shapes. But the my big, so my concern with this is that I just want to make sure that the hand doesn't get too far down to the edge of the painting. 
And I think if anything, I want the figures to be maybe a tiny bit bigger. So I think I like it. I think I like the placement of everything. I'm gonna clean up and go to bed now and look at it tomorrow and make sure that I really do like it. And then I will start painting. So the next day I've been looking at the painting and I think I don't like the composition actually, or the sizing of it. Like I think the figures are too small because I really want the essence. Well, the main subject, I want the eye to be really on this figure right now. And I feel like it's just too small. Like I want it to be bigger. So I was thinking, sketching some stuff, thumbnails around. And then I ended up just putting, uh, going back to this sketch and I put a rectangle around how I think it should be. And I like that a lot better. I think in framing it this way, the eyes definitely more so on this figure. And since I did this all in vine charcoal, I'm just gonna take a chamois, wipe it all off and start again. Blocking now completed on the canvas right here. So there it is. You can see under it is the sketch. I've got these sirens roughly blocked in with charcoal. And so now it's time to get the paint out. I'm gonna get this drawing locked in on the canvas with paint using raw umber and stiff bristle brushes. I just use paint, no medium, it's dry brushing. This is one of my favorite parts of the painting process because it's drawing, but way more fun because you're using paint. sirens last night now I'm looking at it for the first time okay here it is cool so now with the baby my time to work on this is when he's asleep so I stay up late and paint or draw or, or whatever so when I get up in the morning and look at it I'm either like yeah I did really good work or I'm like wow I was probably really tired I like what I did this is this is great for this step. So at the start of this, I was saying I was concerned that I wanted to make sure that his hand didn't get too close to the bottom of the canvas. But when I was working on it, I did the opposite. I stretched him out more, made him a little bit bigger so his hand would indeed be really close to the bottom edge of the canvas. And I think that looks really, really good because since the main focus is this siren, I wanted to feel like he's crawling out of the canvas almost towards the viewer. And so I think having him far down and having his arms stretched out like that, I think you get that effect. And I think it looks really, really good like that. So to get this, I just used raw umber, one color, not using any medium, a dry brush to kind of scrape the paint around. And then just by how much paint I have on my brush, I can get different effects like have the main figure be darker so he's like all the focus and then have these people a bit more washed 
out. And so this is dry brushing. I think dry brushing is so much fun. It's one of my favorite parts of the painting process for sure. And you can get really cool effects with just dry brushing. Like before with my paintings, I would take the this stage, the dry brushing with just one color so far that it looks like a finished painting. But my goal right now is to just keep moving forward with the painting, especially now that I am taking care of a baby at the same time. I'm tr really, really pushing myself not to get stuck in one stage and to just keep moving moving forward so I can realize this painting. But to do this, I ended up using just these three brushes. So to paint with, I use these two rounds. I usually use filberts, but I've been into these rounds right now. So size 10 and size six, and these are the Artitect Bristle supreme brushes if anyone's curious i'll put the information for the materials that i used in the description and then i also use this brush which is a robert simmons brush not to put paint down on the canvas but actually to pick the paint up off the canvas and this is a uh, size two this is my scrubby brush <laughs> so i usually don't paint with this because it's very um kind of a ruined brush like the bristles are really broken down super short and it's flared out a bunch but for the purpose of removing paint off the canvas it's really really great so i really rarely throw away my brushes because i end up using them for different things okay to give a little tutorial if anyone's curious and so this is how i dry a brush everything's painted on in on the canvas so i'm just gonna mess around with the ocean rock a little bit so what makes it dry brushing is is it's just the paint it's the same color as my canvas or my palettes. I don't know if you can see, I've got some raw umber on my palette and I'm not using any medium. So the paint is as dry as it's gonna be with it not being fully dry. Also, everything on here is dry too. So you're not working wet into wet. I use stiff bristle brushes because I'm really scrubbing the paint onto the canvas. So I don't wanna use any brushes where they're too soft where you can't really move the paint around. So I'm just gonna get some paint on my brush and just, I scrub it on pretty much. <laughs> and it really does feel a lot like charcoal drawing, which is nice. And then for how much paint that I put on my brush, you can get darker lines. You can change the effect to like blur it out. Or make a sharper line like that and then if I want to remove paint I'll take a clean brush and that's a different effect with drawing that you can do too for this stage or like make a really thin line like that or then I also use a paper towel a lot too where you can just do take the can or take the paint off the canvas away in bigger areas, which is a lot more rough go at it. So if I want to do anything detailed with taking the paint off, I definitely use the brush instead. And like I said, working this way, it's just so much like drawing. So if someone wants to get in to painting is maybe intimidated by using paint, doing it this way, just with one color and just treating it like you are drawing is like a really nice baby step to get into painting. So this painting stage is so similar to the charcoal stage, but I like to use charcoal first, especially if I don't have everything super planned out like I didn't, like I completely changed the size of the figures on the canvas. And it, charcoal, it's so, like you saw, it's so easy to just wipe it off the canvas with paint. It would just be a lot messier. And also with paint, I can just be a lot more specific and work in smaller areas like his face a lot easier with paint rather than charcoal. And now that it's all in with paint, finished it last night, it's already dry. So now I can start working on the color part, which I'm super, super excited for that. 